Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here, and I <clears throat> I wanted to talk to you about something very serious for a moment. Basically, I found out that 75% of humans are dehydrated. It's pretty brutal to hear those words out loud. I said I wouldn't cry, but it's hard, man. I've really taken it upon myself to combat this thirst phenomenon. I have put thick booties on my thumbnails in the name of hydration. I have beaten BuzzFeed with clickbait titles for the sake of your thirst. And yes, I've included subliminal messages in my videos in the name of some H2O. We roll out, not as the most conventional or badass bikey gang you'll see in Los Santos, but we are definitely the most hydrated. The first step, and easily the most important step, is to get sufficiently hydrated. I mean, I do respect her decision to stay hydrated. He stays sufficiently hydrated. Stay hydrated. The most hydrated. To stay hydrated. And it's time to rehydrate. <laughs> okay, no, look, I'm joking around, but I do actually recommend you drink more water. But lads and lasses, I seriously just wanted to say thank you so much for the support. It has honestly been amazing. And now that we're at 200,000 subscribers, it just felt like the right time to sit down and say a proper thank you. I was going to do this video at 100,000, but YouTube never sent me that plaque thing. Much like my father, it never, never came home. And back when I started this channel two and a half years ago, I never would have thought it would be anything more than a hobby. I made videos for passion just because I enjoyed it and to a large degree that's still just exactly the same as it is now except thanks to you guys and thanks to your support I've managed to turn it into a job and I think it's important just you know regularly just to step back and say like holy shit this channel wouldn't exist without your support whether you're someone who just watches a video whether you drop a like or a comment or you're one of the patrons who supports me through patreon which is just insane just know I appreciate it so much whichever direction I've taken this channel that you guys have gone with it. I've started a Twitch thing now and all, so many of you have come across and I love seeing your names in the chat. So I put together a little compilation of highlights from the last year or so. Um, it's actually pretty weird putting highlights of like your own videos together. The Russian Badger once said it was like masturbating in a mirror, which is like a pretty great analogy. So what I did was I asked some of you guys like what your favorite parts were and I went into the comment sections of the video and tried to compile like a montage of some of the funny moments. Oh, and if you enjoy this montage, please start World War Three in the name of Pelicans as this would really help spread the good word of my channel. And I'm not gonna tell you exactly how you should start World War Three. Have fun with it, be creative. War can be like a fun thing, contrary to popular belief. And again, thank you guys, absolute legends. I'll see you soon. If you enjoy this video, please open up a tattoo parlor, but instead of giving people what they ask for, simply tattoo the Modest Pelican logo on them instead, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Please go down to your local zoo to the Pelican exhibit and openly worship the magnificent birds as if they were gods. Please change your surname to Modest Pelican Gaming and then marry people and persuade them to take your family name. Then divorce them and repeat the process. Please pick up some hitchhikers and persuade them to subscribe to me. If they refuse, please proceed to drive off a cliff, ensuring you jump to safety beforehand. Please tell your partner that you want to spice things up in the bedroom by watching some erotic videos, but then just play my videos. Please order a takeaway coffee and tell the barista your name is Modest Pelican Gaming. The barista will then write this on your coffee cup. Please become an Uber driver and then lock customers in your car and don't let them out until they subscribe to me. Please write to the owners of the NBA team, the New Orleans Pelicans, and ask them to change their names to the New Orleans Modest Pelicans. Please commit a series of murders and hide all of the bodies around your city in precise locations so that when the police map out where all the bodies have been found, it perfectly spells out Modest Pelican. Please start a notorious trafficking cartel called the Modest Pelicanos and become so infamous that Netflix eventually makes a mini series on you. Please change your Wi-Fi name to Modest Pelican Gaming. Please adopt a child, legally change that child's name Name to Modest Pelican Gaming and then return that child to where you adopted it from. Please paint the Modest Pelican logo on a brick and throw it through your neighbor's window. As this really helps, 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 as this really helps spread the good word of my channel.
Anyway, before the match starts, I go into the bathroom and have a quick pre-round wank. Big shout out to Ubisoft for including a porno mag, some tissues and a mug. This time we are shooting birds and again I manage to beat him and surprisingly he shows his integrity and actually pays me my winnings. I take a moment to reflect on just how nice it is to see there is still a few honest people left in the world. I then proceed to stab him in the neck with my hunting knife and take his remaining cash and items, it's like, what do you mean I don't look like a gardener? Where are the secateurs? I'm just here to prune the mother petunias. As I approach, I realize he is having a pretty heated argument with his wife. I steal the wrench, but decide not to leave yet because I actually like to think of myself as a bit of a marriage counselor, and there is actually quite a simple solution to this lover's quarrel. See, you can't fight with your wife if she's drowning in the river. When hardcore gamers aren't playing online, they can be found making short gaming montages, usually accompanied by some of 2008's finest dubstep, or perhaps snorting lines of G fuel off the back of their limited edition scuff controller. I walk back out to the crowd, holding the guard machine gun remember no Russian <laughs> that is the worst Russian accent and the first of these is the silenced M1911 or as I like to call it the sneaky stepdad as I approach the main staircase these two ladies bow for me in all of these Asian hitman locations I get bowed to and honestly I'm becoming accustomed to it the next time I visit a cafe in real life the waiter better bow for me when they bring me my coffee or I'm going to tell their manager that they touched my penis from now on and I mean it this time modest pelican gaming is strictly a Christian channel. Hashtag teabagging for Jesus. Make sure to spray plenty of deodorant into the cake mix as well, as we are all obviously sweaty try-hard gamers. Don't be shy with how much of this you spray. For some reason, Agent 47 is dressed like someone who spends their summers touring Europe on a yacht, finger-banging caviar. Moments later, we are in the action again, and I find myself reviving a downed teammate. Crosby enters the room and proceeds to shoot me in the head in a savage display of friendly fire. We lay down some bear bait and both stop paying attention for a moment and surprise surprise the bear staunches us like it was an Eche Chav lad at a suburban train station. I find a bathroom with one of the biggest bathtubs I have ever seen. I guess this is where Amy Schumer cleans herself. Then it does something I honestly did not see coming. It's just like, oh yeah, I'm a bloody Jedi and I know how to use the force and it just pulls me into its mouth. Like WTF, just in case we weren't already the underdogs, it can also do this. It holds me above the ship and makes me watch as my comrades are torn apart. I quickly eat a banana to keep my potassium levels up. I am probably going to die, but for the love of God, I am not dying with low potassium levels. I've said it before and I'll say it again. There is quite literally nothing in this world that girls love more than a high kill death ratio. Meet Agent 47 if he lost his job and we're about to try to make a new life for him in GTA Online. These are Du Bois, Stealth Omato and Crosby and together the trio form a feared gang known as the Sons of Virgins. I then pull out my phone and no, surprisingly not to watch adult videos in the hopes of pulling off a risky mobile fab but to order myself a new car. I purchase a car and it is legendary if I don't say so myself and there she is, my new ute. It might not be the fastest or the most expensive or the most aesthetically pleasing but I decide to name her Shaniqua because this car is the motor vehicle equivalent of trailer trash. I find two ladies who look like well-mannered sophisticated intellectuals and ask them if they'd like to take a ride with me in Shaniqua. They regrettably say no as apparently I can't pick up hookers in this vehicle. Mato then actually kills himself to avoid driving home in my truck. I try to show Mato my new gun, but he refuses to look at it and then puts a gun to his head and pulls the trigger. I easily beat the lads to the destination and then Crosby approaches with a hammer in his hand and smacks me in the face with it as he rides past. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. In seriousness though, I honestly look like part of the gaming world 
world, you wouldn't even look twice. Mato then walks over and delivers one of the cleanest uppercuts I have ever seen for like no reason. Gandhi then pulls out an assault rifle and says that not all problems are solved with bullets, which is kind of a contradictory statement relative to his current actions. He then murders Robbo by smacking him with his gun. I guess that's what he meant. Gandhi then gives Crosby the same treatment. Using this combination is like having a threesome with two Spanish models. Well, I actually wouldn't know, but I imagine that's what it's like. I wear a fedora when I fap. I follow her up the stairs, and all I can think is this would make a really great thumbnail for my video. For some reason, people are just really drawn to clicking thumbnails that have thick, juicy, firm, architecturally designed staircases on them. If I could kill these two players, it would dwarf the achievements of the likes of Alexander Fleming who discovered antibiotics and penicillin. If he can win a Nobel Prize for saving millions of lives, I deserve a Nobel Prize for embarrassing these two noobs. The final enemy really did not see this 1000 IQ play coming and I could almost sense his surprise as I popped out and put him down. What a sweet victory. I shoot their bodies for a bit of a power play showboat. Seriously, no wonder I always run out of ammunition. Use your best pickup line on her, Mort. Hey, uh, you want to see my jumping jacks? Because I'll be jumping on my dick soon. I think she likes you. <laughs> Crushed it. I'll be jumping on my dick soon. But I decide to help myself to some free, juicy Granny Smith apples. One of the apples almost rolls off the table, but using my insanely fast assassin reflexes, I catch it just in time. Don't clap. It's just part of the job. The first thing I see is two guys passed out on the floor. See kids, this is what happens when you take heroin and crack. The lesson here is to just take one or the other, don't mix them. But then out of nowhere, a bunch of tiny carnivores begin mauling the poor guy. I try and use my spear to save him, but accidentally stab him in the penis and kill him. We put a sign outside their cage that says, subscribe to Modest Pelican, and tell them that once they've subscribed and have commented on a video, Video, they are free to go. Savannah then says she subscribed to me and comments on a video saying, let me out of the cage. This young lady who is on her morning jog won't notice you because she is wearing super cool AirPods. Once she runs past, you're going to want to unload several rounds into her thick booty. These shots will alert everyone in the neighborhood and then this undercover agent will pull a gun on you and you'll want to shoot him too. But good God, I just realized that we are only two minutes into this video and I, a privileged white man, have just shot a woman and a black man. Before I get called out for being a bigot, remember that the two targets are both white men. We are all inclusive on this channel. We murder all genders and races. Why Modest Pelican? Well, I basically chose Modest Pelican because I wanted a name that no one had anything close to, or, and I just wanted it to be really unique. Besides, I thought I might get in trouble for copyright if I went with PewDie Pelican or Pelican Frags or Modest Cap Gaming. Do you ever wonder what would happen if you scanned Agent 47's barcode? Well, I did a bit of research and it no joke brings up an Amazon link for a drawstring double dong dildo bag in Starry Night Blue, 15 inches long, 5 inches wide. That's not even me making a joke. Several gaming news sites have confirmed this. So there you go. I always thought the barcode made Agent 47 look like a badass, but he's really just a killing machine that is also apparently designed to sell dildo bags. Anyway, the squad for this game is Stealtho Mato, Stealtho Robbo, and Crosby. Our team is kind of like the Avengers, except instead of having unique superpowers and exciting abilities, we all just fap seven times a day and drink too much on weekends. Just kidding, we drink too much on weekdays too. I decide to head outside to see if I can find an isolated cleaner or security guard that I can whack off. As in like knock out or kill, I'm not going to whack off a cleaner. If a cleaner wants to get a hand job, they can pay a homeless person $15 like the rest of us do. We are engaged by another squad. Again, we are a man down. I hope the teammate who bailed on us right at the beginning of the game gets the Black Plague. Well, that's a bit extreme, I don't want him to die, but I at least hope he gets herpes. Old mate wanders back in shortly afterwards. I realize that I have completely forgotten to use the fire axe, which is an absolute shame. But I mean, this guy in the laundry room is looking awfully suspicious. Maybe it would be safer if I fire axed him just to be cautious. On the way back to the base, I even swing by the Santa Monica Pier and mow down some pedestrians enjoying the sunshine because it's important to enjoy the little things in life every 
now and again. In the words of Mother Teresa, let us always meet each other with a smile, for a smile is the beginning of love. That quote has nothing to do with anything happening here, and I proceed to detonate the explosives and kill Victor as well as a bunch of bystanders. But I guess I'm smiling now, so there you go, it all links together. This next strategy is called Malaysian Airlines Flight 370 and involves a gadget I don't see many players using, the anti-air rocket guns. Three, two, one, fire. Yeah. I just messed this up, so this is like my fourth glass of water in about five minutes, but that's alright. Never leave anything in the glass. 